Hi, this video will look at how to create great drag and drop quizzes in Moodle using the new H5P app. Here's a simple example of the kind of quiz you can make. The student has to match a label with places on the guitar. And then the student, once they've done this, checks their attempt and gets a score. And this score will be recorded in Moodle for the teacher to see how well the student understands the content. So how do we create uh, these quizzes in Moodle? Let's take a look. OK, so you first have to create the activity in Moodle. And we do that in the usual way by clicking on Add an Activity or Resource and selecting H5P Interactive Content. Give the resource a name. Add an optional description. We're going to be selecting from the editor the drag and drop question type. And our first task here is then to select the image that we want. So there's our image of the guitar. And it goes. Uh, we'll return to the, some of the settings in a moment. But let's just look at the, the nuts and bolts of the task. So what we need to do first is create drop zones. Uh, this is uh, what the student will be placing the labels into. Uh, so to create a drop zone, you just drag uh, this icon into the particular area where you want a zone. So if we start here at the bridge, okay, and it's uh, prompting us for a label. So we'll just call that, just make it easy by using nice self-explanatory labels. Okay, and that's a, a good size. And we want one for the plectrum guard. And we'll have one for the sound hole. One for the fretboard. And we'll do one uh, for the tuning keys over here. Having created the drop zones, uh, the next stage is to create the labels that the students will drag on to the drop zones. Uh, you do that by clicking up here and just dragging this text box onto the page. Now you actually want the student to have the ability to drag a label to any drop zone and therefore potentially get the question wrong. Uh, if you just selected the right one here, what would happen is the label would be rejected and it just bounces off the drop zone. Uh, but I think that's a little bit too easy. Uh, to make it a bit uh, more challenging, select all of these so that the student can uh, put it into an incorrect place and then get the feedback. And you can just size the labels like so. So we can make this the pink guard. <coughs> Okay, and just select all of them. And 
So we'll tidy all this up in a minute. Uh, let's grab another one. This will be for the fretboard. And the final one for the tuning keys. Okay, so tidy up time. We just uh, You want them mixed up a bit too, so that it's a little bit more difficult for the student to guess. Okay, uh, that's not too bad. Okay, so that's us got uh, our drop zones, our labels. Uh, we're allowing the student to put uh, a label on any drop zone. Final step is just to uh, actually confirm which labels are correct. So we do that just by going back to the drop zone and editing it. And we want to pick out bridge for this one. Down here where we have our pick guard. Uh, pick guard is the correct one to tick. Up here, the sound hole. So you want the sound hole label is correct. Fretboard and tuning keys. Okay, uh, that's is pretty much done. Uh, maybe one other thing to mention at the moment. Uh, back in the settings. Uh, for behavioural settings, you can either give the student one point for the whole task, so if they get five draggables correct, they get one point, or you can give them one point for each draggable that they get correct, so uh, up to you uh, what you choose here. I'll give them one point for each draggable, which will give them a total score of five if they get them all correct. So, we can save that. and then take a look at uh, what it looks like for the student. So the student can go in and have a try at this quiz. Uh, we'll get a few wrong just to see the feedback. Uh, so we'll pop that in there. That one there. Okay, and we can see uh, we've got two wrong and three correct. Why is it showing just one out of five there? If you look on the H5P website, it's because they subtract the incorrect answers from the correct answers to get a total score. A pretty bizarre way of uh, scoring a question, which they promised to address in the next version of H5P. But I don't think it detracts from the value of this tool, which has many applications. So, having attempted the question, we pop back out to the front page of Moodle again. Uh, we'll be able to see that for both students and teachers, uh, that attempt score is now in the gradebook. And there it is. Uh, that's the H5P drag and drop question type. If you have any questions on how it's used or queries about any of the other H5P interactive tools, contact Middle Support.